or welcome in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a cross table using R specifically R studio uh, if you have paired variables so um, uh, one or more uh, two or more pair uh, paired variables and uh, let's dive in the basic packages I have installed are the ones that I think come standard with R studio and of course I'll be needing some example data so I'll show you my example data that I stored under my data for now and it's just two options before and after and uh, people are asked to rate something on a scale of 1 to 5 now uh, I can get uh, very quickly a normal cross table showing both of these two variables by using table and then just enter the two variables that you want to compare and as you can see that generates a cross table showing all the different um, counts in each possible combination you can also get the uh, uh, row totals you can actually get the uh, column totals uh, you can also uh, do a proportional version of that same table so how much percent is based on the entire uh, table so uh, 0 0.1111 here uh, means that about 11% <coughs> of the respondent uh, gave both variables a 5 uh, you can also do it based on the row totals so now the percentages per row should add up to 100% and you can also do it based on column totals and now each column actually adds up to 100% if you however want a summary table just simply showing the counts per uh, variable what you can do and in this case hopefully everything has the exact same uh, option so the same uh, values then you can do the before table and store this under a separate uh, uh, variable do the same for the after and then actually use our bind and then uh, the before and after and use a T for transpose so that it actually becomes vertical um, then change the column names so that you nicely have before and after instead of B-E-N-A-F or whatever you used and then actually if you I'll show you the table and now I have a nice table showing that for example uh, the second option was chosen 10 times before and only 9 times after you can do the same for percentages uh, exactly the same but then use the proportion table so I won't be going over that step by step and then my table 3 simply shows the percentages uh, they should add up per column now and uh, this is one way of generating this frequency table or cross table if you will uh, you can easily uh, make this bigger if you have more variables but there's another option which is uh, by using sjplot which is a very nice package if you're familiar with SPSS and uh, getting into R um, I already installed it myself so I just need to load the package and it has a function that is called SJT and then stack frequencies and that's actually specifically designed for uh, Likert variables so you select the data and then the columns that you actually want comma and then the columns you want to display and this will actually create an HTML output as you can see here in the viewer and it nicely has uh, the same results uh, the five different levels before and after and the percentage for each to show you another example with this um, I can install uh, the library Haven uh, loaded uh, so that I can load an old SPSS file uh, so a second data file and that is actually slightly bigger I'll show you what that one looks like as you can see uh, this is I think from the GSS 2012 slightly adjusted data and let's say I want to actually compare two of the variables in there uh, this line we don't need uh, so again the sjt dot uh, stack frequency frq my data 2 now and columns 10 and 11 control enter and as you can see it actually uh, shows nicely in here in the viewer the percentages uh, the it uses the labels and that's pretty nice and nifty you can actually expand to any number of uh, variables that you want as long as they have the same uh, uh, levels Okay, I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.